Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Snowflake tutorial series. I am Hardik Patel and in this video we will deep dive into the Snow SQL for Snowflake and you will learn almost everything there is to know about this powerful tool that will enable you to manage your Snowflake data warehouse very effortlessly. So what is Snow SQL? Snow SQL is a command line utility that allows you to interact with Snowflake using SQL queries and there are some other commands provided by Snow SQL. With its easy to use syntax and, and vast functionality, Snow SQL empowers you to perform complex operations such as data loading, querying, user management, and uh, unloading the data, and more. All those from command line. So before anything else, let's have a look how we can install. So to install, you have to go to snowflake.com official site and once you go to this snowflake.com you have to go to resources and click on developers so once you click on developers it will redirect to this screen and you'll have downloads option you can click on snow sql here and you will have three options for different os okay i have mac os so i will click on this once you click on this it will show you uh, the file is getting downloaded. You just click on open or probably save as anything you want to do that Once you open it file, it will start down uh, installing and it will show you some uh, I mean welcoming script what they are going to do what they are going to copy in different folders, right? Now I'll go to and continue Then I'll install for all users and uh, I will not change the installation location. I'll give the password here once you give the password it will start installation and it will it will show you some steps to connect with snowflake account okay that we will look into that but as i have already installed earlier as well so i do not have to configure at all but when you install first time and you run this command snow sql it will download something which is missing in the initial download okay so once that is completed you have to open your configuration file like this this is provided into dot snow sql folder inside your home directory and there you will have config file so once you open the config file which is i have already opened in my case so as you can see this config file i have already added account name username password when i installed last time so i do not need to provide account name username password while running that snow sql command because this is the default username use uh, account name all default variables will be taken from here if you want to have separate connections as well like uh, inside the session itself when you are already inside the session you want to switch to different connection you can use the powerful command which snow sql provides called exclamation connection and then provide the connection name and that is in this case it's a uat so it will automatically use those parameters from these and switch the connection. Then there is another section called variables where you can provide some variables like you want to have some kind of threshold values and some kind of uh, environment variable, environment specific variable, right? So that way it is helpful because whenever you have set any variable here, those variables will be available to run inside the session with any SQL statement okay so you can utilize this as well then there are some options which will help you to change the behavior of snow sql utility so as you can see the first statement itself uh, showcase that you want to have auto completion or not right you want to enable the timing or not so those are the options which are available you can also change the log level suppose you are facing some issues and you want to see uh, deep uh, uh, deep level then you can go uh, for the debug log level and you can see more data then output format is by default psql so you can change from this there are some options available so there are a lot more options are available i will provide the link in description section so you can go through that link and uh, 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 play with those options okay now uh, as we have already configured i'll just use the snow sql command i'll hit the snow sql and as I have already set those username, account and password, it should automatically connect and inside the go into the session. Okay. Now I have logged in as a Hardik as a username, but there is no warehouse database or schema selected. 
and first thing we want to do that is ddl operation and what is ddl operation you can create the database so i'll just create a database here called cidb right so i have created the db now as you can see as i just created and initially there was no database was in use but as you created it automatically get selected and even public schema as well now as we have selected the database and schema i'll create one table called users and i'll provide some columns and only two columns actually name and age with number okay and yeah so it will create users table now i will check if any insert statement works or not so as you can see we haven't selected any warehouse so it should give us an error because without any warehouse you cannot execute any dml operation okay because dml operation needs a compute layer because it is going to compute the query and then execute right so insert into users and i will just provide values first like hardik and then age so as you can see it says that no active warehouse selected so we will select warehouse first warehouse and then default warehouse we have is compute wh and now if i run this insert query it will execute and insert the record okay now if i see select star from users it should show us the all the records but we have one record so it will show one record now what we want to do additionally so suppose we have a csv file available in my local system and if i want to upload and directly uh, load into the database or table so what you will do you just need a copy command and before copy command you have to upload that file and what is the upload file so upload is something you will have you should have one stage area where you can put that file okay so this is the verbal uh, way you can say like but before that you have to create a stage and if you call create the stage call internal stage it says that stage area internal stage successfully created so now you have stage area available now you can put the file in this stage so to put the command uh, to put the file you will use put command so put and then you will provide the path of file but to provide the uh, the syntax is like you have to provide prefix file colon double slash and then you have to start your path so again slash users hardik.patel then you have file available in downloads folder and file name is users.csv and then target uh, destination is your stage area right so what is the stage name internal stage so to use the stage area you have to use this at the symbol then only snowflake will understand this is a stage now inside the stage also while doing this put command you can provide prefixes like as this is users file i will use this users folder so it will automatically create this users folder and put it inside that folder automatically if i enter as you can see file is uploaded and now available inside this stage so now as we have uploaded the file now we can copy uh, into the table so you can use this copy command copy into and then table name and from the stage area so you can provide the stage then users and you can provide the whole file path if you want to uh, specifically load one file but if you provide half path or some prefix then it will automatically iterate through all the files and copy the data from those files into user table so if you want to avoid and if you want to specifically select one file and uh, load into the table then you have to provide full path otherwise in our case we have only one file so it's okay to just give the prefix now as you can see let me show you the file as well so this is the user.csv file where we have three records available arrow cells and nero and all those three uh, records were parsed properly and loaded as well so now let's look at the table if it shows that or not so as you can see all those rows are now inserted so this is another uh, useful command which is put command 
which is not available in web interface so that is where this nosql is powerful another powerful feature which nosql provides is you are able to run sql script from uh, local system or any system using nosql command okay so you can automate a lot of tasks uh, using scripting and you can integrate with other systems as well so nosql uh, so there is another point i wanted to mention that is nosql communicates with snowflake servers over a secure and encrypted connection so you may find uh, that the initial connection takes a few second but uh, it should be okay once the connection is happened and you will be good okay so that's all uh, thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you found it helpful and are now more confident working with nosql and if you have any questions regarding this nosql or any command or need further clarification don't hesitate to drop a comment below i will do my best to respond to all of them and if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might also benefit from it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss our future tutorials once again thank you for watching and happy querying